In the nearly seven years we've been doing the show here, The Morning Blend, we've talked about all kinds of mm -hmm. events, but we think there's always room to learn about something new and something different. Like the gluing of cows. It's happening on Saturday and relates to the South Omaha Museum, which officially opens in May. And Gary Kastrick and Anna Hernandez Valencia join us this morning. Hi, Thanks Gary. For stopping Hi, in. Anna. Hi. Nice to so see you So we're going to get to the, the cow gluing part in a second, right. right? But how long has this South Omaha Museum been in the making? Well, I was a teacher at Omaha South, and in uh, 1999, I got a, a lottery grant to start a museum. So we had a museum in the basement, so and we interviewed people, and we had all these artifacts from the last dying cattle pen from the stockyards and all that mm -hmm. down there. We interviewed about 300 people, and we got all these stories, but then when I retired, nobody wanted to take it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it ended up in my basement, <laughs> and so I was on hoarders a couple times, uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, and then people just kept saying we need to get this out we need to get this yeah. out so we finally decided let's just do it mm -hmm. so it's uh it's coming out we just moved all the stuff there it took us about 10 hours to move all the all are the you artifacts. like 23rd and m 23rd area? 2314 m it's the old oppd and building. that's where the party is this weekend which right. we'll, yes. we'll tell right. you more about but what what is the mission is it about you're talking about these stories and these artifacts preservation is the key but why we go ahead no, go ahead. <laughs> we uh, feel like South, South Omaha has always been a unique story, a, a unique area, and we wanted to preserve the history for the kids. When I was teaching Omaha history, I found that local history teams seem to give the kids more of a sense of history than even the, the bigger mm -hmm. history, because they can see it, they can touch it. Yeah, they can go to those streets. They can those go buildings to streets, are yeah. still standing. Exactly, yes. exactly. And so we found that it, would be, it was really interesting when we brought the kids into that. We want to preserve the, uh, the uniqueness of South Omaha, or the uniqueness mm -hmm. of Omaha in general. Mm -hmm. yes. And we love the idea of all the different ethnic groups that blended there, all the different hardworking people, and, and the identification. And if you ask anybody, you know, if they're an SOB, uh -huh. South Omaha boy, or <laughs> SOG South, they all right. agree. Yeah, right, know. no, they, they smile and laugh at you instead right. of slugging you, like, right. what did you right. just call right. me? Right. They yeah. know. Exactly. Uh, what type of exhibits? You, you hauled, it took you 10 hours to haul all this stuff out of your basement, <sighs> right? So what do you have? What are some of the artifacts or some of the old exhibits that you have? We have uh, old phone booths which nobody ever goes to anything more. It's amazing when you get these little third graders who come up and do this and they don't know how to dial, uh -huh. you know, which is funny. Uh -huh. We have the original, we have the last standing cattle pen from the stockyards sitting in there. We have a model that we created of the stockyards because what happened is that people don't realize the, how big it was. Yeah. And this Massive. is what that, this is the actual. Okay, well, so what are we looking at here? So this, this is, is the, the, this is the livestock exchange building on the model. Yeah. So we have that in there and, and right now, uh, what happened is we built the model about 10 years ago and I couldn't get it out any place. Mm -hmm. So it's been sitting it's kind of in dormant and we didn't have the ability to put the cows and all that on it. Uh -huh. So there's all these pins. So we said, oh my gosh, we have 800 cows okay. put on here before. 800 little mini cows. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, so here are the cows. Here are the cows. Where do you, I mean, it's so funny to me because when I hear about the cow gluing party, <laughs> I'm like this concept seems pretty far out there, guys. I don't know. It's like. Are we like? There's no animal cruelty no, here. No, there's no, no animals no. Will, will be harmed. Mm -hmm. So and where are these little cows going to go? These are going to go into the pens. Um, there is a, a model um, that's scaled down, obviously. What what is the measurements? Uh, do you know? Eight by twelve feet. And yeah. how many mm -hmm. cows are you putting in that space? Eight hundred 800 cows. Eight hundred cows. And some additional, yes, some sheep and cows as well, uh, and sheep and. And you need help. Well. I mean, the well, two of you aren't doing this yeah. on your own. How could you imagine <laughs> how long that would take? It would we take go forever. insane. <laughs> so, so you're asking for for volunteers really to right, help you, right? Right, to come in yeah, and uh, and uh, particularly kids. We have some kids. We mm -hmm. thought it'd be fun to have kids put the cows back in the yeah. stockyards. So the cow That's gluing party is this Saturday at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Just show up, right? Yes, or, yes. Or you can. I mean, it's my phone number. Yeah. The phone number's there as well. If they're interested, go ahead and call and get more information. But it is at two p.m. Mm -hmm. this Saturday um, at 2314 M Street. Are you providing the glue? Yes. And the cows. <laughs> and the in-scale cows. cows. Yeah. And the you little cows. Just lend, you just lend your time. Are you also accepting donations? There's got to be some, so many other basements <coughs> like yours that people have stuff from South Omaha. Maybe it was the stockyards or some, old, some of the older buildings down there. Are you looking for donations and to acquire some of those? You know, it's amazing. When we first started the, uh, the museum, stuff poured in from all over, even Hawaii mm. and California and that, of, of uh, different, like, locks from, uh, from there, the bricks from the mm -hmm. hallways, uh, uh, tools from the packing houses, pictures, uh, story, family stories. 
And so we still, I, I've had to stop for the last five or six years because my basement. But now that we yeah. have this, yes, we'd space. love to have people yeah. come in, talk to us about it, bring their artifacts, bring things that they have. Uh, we're going to have a we're going to have shows later on. We're going to have one, for example, for the College World Series. We're uh -huh. going to have a baseball in Omaha. We're going to mm -hmm. do that show. And then we're going to do one of my favorites later on called Bars, Barberships, and Brothels, uh -huh. which would be the, the yeah. seedy yeah. side of South Omaha. And I was going to say, additionally, we plan on working with um, local schools to, um, to provide, you know, tours of South Omaha, yeah. of the museum, um, of the exhibits as well. That's so. wonderful. Yeah. Great concept. Uh, welcome. I sort of feel like uh, we're going to hear yeah, more from you once you open officially. It's been a long ride, 18 years. Yeah. when we first started that. Just tremendous. No kidding. It's, uh, yeah. it, it, it seems like a long ride. Well, thank you for sharing this part of it with us. Well, and I'm right. sure we'll thank see you both you. soon. Thank you. Well, tomorrow. Right.